yesterday's episode, we had worked our way all the way back to this gangway. And today we're going to see if we can't go between these two gangways and maybe even a little further. Are we going to be lucky with our posts when we try to go around here? Now here's something that I did not notice yesterday. Or didn't I probably noticed it, but I didn't think about it. And that is that we've got these... Uh, these things going down and they they can be unhooked at the bottom of the ladder but they're glued on at the top there so they pretty much have to stay there um, well I'll tell you what to make it easy on ourselves so we're not always catching on this one okay we're gonna go from there to there it'll come out and across let, let's cut it off right there at this one right here. Okay, I'm just sort of eyeballing this again. And I'm thinking that if we make our bend about a third of the way from this post, and then if we cut out these two bottom rails here so that the uh, it'll go over the fairway, I think these smaller ones are also called fairways. I'm not sure. We can check it out later. Uh, I know the bigger ones with the rollers, you know, they were called fairways. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, let's just bend it one third of the way and uh, see what happens. Now I realize that I could use Andy's photo etch bender for this and probably be a little bit more accurate. That look like it's like it's at ninety degrees, yeah. Just bend it over here like this. All right. Now very gently here. See, will this go in? How's it going to fit? I think that's going to be okay. Not like that, of course, but. Okay, let's uh, cut those bottom two rails out. Don't worry, I got it. Now I know I like to show as much as I can on video. Um, you know what? If I take this and if we... Whoa, if I was to put it on here like this, I should be able to see what where the bend should come without actually having to stick it in there because I keep dropping this thing. I guess it's like I've said before, I'm, I'm scared of squeezing it too hard. That's the problem. Okay, I'm squeezing a little harder this time. Now, if we were to make the bend the other way. I'm just once again I'm just sort of eyeballing where this would come. About a millimeter the other side of that post. I think it would be just about right. Okay, I just went ahead and did it here. Now, Mark, you're going to be so proud of me. I think this bend is in the wrong place. Let's just see what happens when I shove this back. Well, maybe not. Let's see what happens when I get it straight. It is so close. You know, it is so close, I'm not going to try and change anything. Now, if we cut it off about a third of the way from this post here, this way, and glue 
this post or a post or something right there about a third of the way. Well, we'll glue the post first and then cut it off. Okay, let's stick on the macro lens. Okay, this is the uh, third, maybe the fourth time that we've done this, so we should be getting pretty good at it. And I do realize that there's some sort of an optical illusion going on there, just to the left of the pin. Uh, just the way the lines are. Okay, it looks pretty good. Just let me get directly over top of it here so I can see if it looks like it's square. I do believe it is. Okay, now this time, let's see if maybe we can not saturate it in glue. This is the CA Thin. Okay, I think I got some on there. And once again, well, it's going to build up. Let's do it on this side. And maybe the pin is blocking it on you. Did it look like any came off? Probably did. Okay, and here's where we had trouble last time. We put too much on. And this one here. Okay, I do believe we've got it. Let's just let that sit for about five minutes. I've checked Stefan's book again. And yes, all of those brackets that are mounted along the edge of the gunnel there that the ropes pass through, they're called fair leads. Okay, I know I had said let's give it five minutes, but I would say more than an hour has passed here now. Now, last time we used this thing to uh, trim it down. This time I'm going to use this. I don't know if I'm going to show it, be able to show it, but I'm going to try. Now, this time I'm going to pry it off of the waxed paper just a little bit differently. I'm just going to work my way up the rails all at the same time. There we go. I'm noticing that there's some uh, CA glue there on the built up on the top of the rail or I guess in this case it would be the bottom of the rail because this is the top rail. Um, maybe I should nip this off just a little bit differently here. I'll give it a try here. Let's just carefully hold this down so it doesn't slide away. Because this, this post here, okay, there we go. I suppose I could use my sanding stick and fix that up. Now the other post, it is supposed to have a little bit of a You'll notice this one here and, and the other one there. It's a little bit uh, over the top, you might say. Oh, sorry, I got you out of the uh, out of the field of view there for a second. Yeah, that looks not too bad. Um, now, try and cut it like this if we can. I'm just going to get it uh, lined up and then I'll bring it back. Well, I'm hoping this is in your field of view. 
that's it and for anybody that wanted to know what the other piece looked like, well there it is. I do believe this is going to be all right. Maybe what I should do is glue this this part on first, and uh, then go in the other direction. Need something to just sort of hold it there in place. I'll think of something. Okay, Ian to the rescue. You know, this is the uh, model ship that YouTube built. We've got Tony's tweezers, Andy's photo etch bender, Mark's tape, and Ian's thumb. Let's see if I can move that down just a tiny bit here. I think that looks better. Maybe Ian should be pushing just a little harder. Maybe I'll, I'll use the blunt end to push it in. Does that look right? No, I think I lifted it up again. camera back and start again. Sorry about that. Okay, Ian, don't move. I know it looks like, uh, what's that little fluffy doing on there? I'll just do the, just the corner here. Okay. I know it looks like it could go a little higher, you know, just, you know, on the part that Ian's thumb is holding. But then if I do, then the uh, part that goes into the gunnel is not going to be horizontal with the rest of it. You know what, that, that actually looks pretty good. Maybe I could, uh, if I try to adjust it. Okay. Let's just let that cure. Maybe I could do the, the corner here. Now we'll let it cure. Okay, about 10 minutes has passed here. Very gently. There we go. And I think we can probably remove Mark's contribution here to this build. There we go. Now I'm feeling kind of bad here because I forgot somebody. Remember about a year ago when we were doing the spraying? Tennessee Jim. Now if there's anybody else that I forgot to mention here, I'm sorry. In the comments below, just remind me and tomorrow I'll give you honorable mention. You may have noticed this tray of extra pieces. It was originally sitting over on the other side of the ship there. It's got, uh, there's 16 guns, the cranes, uh, a bunch of little pieces. 
But what we've got here is uh, the odd broken off piece. For instance, this piece here, it originally was over fastened on right here. And I, after I broke it off for the second time, I thought I may as well just leave it off. And uh, when we do the rigging, we're going to need it. So, uh, But also, uh, for when we're talking about broken off pieces, um, these pieces right here that look like hatches, they actually came off of the bottom of the of the gangway here. I, I broke them off. I guess I wasn't being careful when I reached underneath when the ship was all the way down and uh, I broke them off with my fingers and and I just left them on the deck there and uh, these are not hatches. Anyway I just thought I'd mention that this is this is all stuff that we're going to be doing when we when we get you know pretty well to the end of the build uh, no use putting the guns on now because they're just going to be in the way for when we do the rigging and so on. I will have to watch, of course, when we do when we do the rigging that uh, I, I am going to be able to fit the various guns in place. But I, I don't see where there's going to be a problem. And one nice thing about the Easy Line is that it is it is so stretchy that if it's if there is a line running in the in the road, you can sort of pull it out a little bit and it'll. Uh, they're like elastic bands. We'll we'll look at we'll look at them really closely uh, when it comes this week. But uh, anyway, uh, I just thought I'd mention that there's there's uh, the odd piece that I'm going to have to you know place later. Well, actually, there's there's quite a few quite a few pieces. There's a a bunch of little depth charges in here somewhere that go in the uh, depth charge racks that are right at the ba at the stern. Uh, Got to remember to start saying stern, bow, yeah, and uh, you know, port, starboard. I'll eventually get it. Um, however, yeah. May as well get these things over here where we're going to need them later. And we'll continue on. Somebody suggested that we, instead of calling this the Pusher Downer, we're looking for a new name that's a little bit more sophisticated. We could call it the Push-Pull Rail Tool. That looks about right. I don't have any CA on the end of this. I'm just using it as a pusher right now. Let's see if I can get this out just a little bit so it's not so close up to the you know what? I think I'm going to move this over here. That'll hold it in place. And we'll just do this one post individually. See if we can push it out just a tiny bit. Maybe I should uh, look straight down on it. It could go a little more actually. There, that looks pretty good. All right. Let's get some CA on the bottom of that post. I just checked the monitor. It's, now it's too far the other way. Okay, what can I do here? I've cut a lot of video out here. I eventually get it where I want it, but it took quite a while. The rail tool on top of it to hold it down right there. Yeah, it looks the same place as it was before when I checked the monitor. Pull this back just a little here. And after all of this effort, most of which you did not see, I accidentally poke it back to the same place it was when I first started. Okay, now let's just carefully move down. And we had wanted the rail to be right along the, the crack there. Let's see if I can get in there and push this post back just a little bit. There. It 
looks like this post is... Oh, there was a piece of dust on the end there and I didn't see it. Uh, Oh, yeah, there's a piece of dust on there. Let me get rid of that. Now this one here, we kind of got it earlier. Seems to be wicking its way into the crack between the deck and the side of the hull there, but I'm pretty sure it's a, you know it's glued in place. I do believe we can start to move down. Well, I guess we better swing our other safety guard around out of the way. And it looks like we're going to be able to use a full length piece. Two full length pieces. Better move this. Let's get it back out of the way. All it has to do is plug the hole. After these four lengths are used up, and I think they're probably going to be used up pretty much on this side here, we've only got one sheet left. In other words, seven lengths and there's a few little short pieces. When we get to the end, we'll use up the short pieces to go around the back. Uh, yeah, we are going to have just enough, as long as I don't waste any. Well, that's too bad. It looks like this comes right where there's a post. I wonder if this can be removed and moved down. Looks like there's a bit of damage there anyway. Um, I can't remember if there's markings on here to indicate where this is supposed to go or did I just sort of have to guess where it was supposed to go. Now it does appear to me that right on the top of the hull here there's a little a little mark to show where these were supposed to go it's about a year ago that I put them on so I can't remember now if this post was even half a millimeter more to the left uh, let's take a look at the other end and see if we can do any adjusting but I don't think so see if I can push it over a little more but I don't think so no, that's as far as it will go, and if I if I wedge the uh, the uh, post in and uh, you know by that fair lead, then the the uh, rail is going to be sort of buckled. I feel kind of funny doing this, but if we just break it off and see what it what it will look like, it's not glued on there very hard. It's not like there's a peg or anything. It's just at least I don't remember there being a peg. Okay, all right. Now, if I was to glue it down right here and then just repaint here, you know, yeah, I think there was a little little tiny raised place there, but I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe that's, could that be from the paint? I don't think so. All right, let's just glue it down, you know, right, right here instead of right here. And like I said, I feel really funny doing this. Mind you, I, I got to touch up this damage here anyway, so. This is still thinned out from when we sprayed and I, 
I think unless I gob it on really thick here that it runs down the side. When this dries, no one's gonna know. And the three or four hundred people on YouTube that watch, well, I might have got it over on the deck a little bit there. Yeah, those people on YouTube, they'll have forgotten that I did this. Um, what's going on here now? Well, let's hope that blends in. We'll check it tomorrow after it's uh, really dried and we'll see how it looks. Now the bottom rail that we're going to want to remove is one, two, three, four, five. It's in the sixth section from the right. Okay. And I mean to the left. Well, I guess that'd be the same thing, from the right to the left. Um, let me do this again. Let's make sure we got our... Let's make sure we're all the way over to the left here as far as we can go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we remove the bottom rail in the sixth section. I think I can remember that. Half a dozen. Okay, I'm just trying something here and it may not work. So it has to go in there. I only removed the bottom rail. If you remember on the uh, on the larger fair leads, we removed two rails. What am I caught up here on now? Oh, right there, okay. All right. Now will the posts? Yeah. I th I think that'll be all right. Sure, that's going to be just fine. Okay, let's get our uh, railing tool in place here and uh, start gluing. I guess I guess we'll start over here at this end. Is that a bubble? No. Maybe I should uh, get some new CA glue. It could be it's thickening up on me because it seems awful thick. Okay, I've cleaned off the applicator and I've got a fresh batch of CA here. I keep pushing it. I can push it back now. Well, it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's move over a couple of posts and uh, we'll just keep right on going. Put it on top here. And carefully push this back. see what I'm doing here. It would almost be easier if I could do it from the front. Did I get it? I think I did. Well, I did for sure that time. Okay, let's stick the macro lens on so we can see what we're doing here. 
we're going to have to wait and see what we're doing tomorrow because as I'm sitting here right now editing this out, I'm noticing we're up to 30 minutes. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.